Heineken, share the sofa. The definition of innovation is to introduce change or a new idea in order to adapt to your environment. The soccer themed campaign from Heineken, a Dutch company, deserves such praise for ingenuity due to its multifaceted scheme, including but not limited to its humorous and central crank television advertisement. Primary research conducted by Heineken in 2011 discovered that 76% of viewers watched the Union of European Football Associations, better known as the Champion League soccer games, at home alone. Of those that viewed the games alone, 65% were found to use a second screen in conjunction with their television, such as a phone, iPad or computer. Heineken subsequently produced two questions. Firstly, how could they join the viewers on their sofas to share the experience? Secondly, how could they leverage viewer habits and technology? Heineken's solution was to develop a marketing campaign that combined television and advertising with a Twitter campaign platform to join the fans on the sofas and to leverage technology. This optimised Heineken's massive market infiltration, which had allowed them to distribute over 250 beverages into 178 countries globally, making Heineken the largest supplier in the world. Its flagship brand, Heineken Premium, is the third most supplied beer in the world and the most consumed beer in Europe. <laughs> Champions al massimo. È rimasto l'ultimo vero appuntamento per rimanere tutti insieme. Il gruppo storico siamo io, Marco, Federico e poi c'è Simone. Cassano, che comunque è un giocatore sublime a livello di fondamentale e di tecnica. Simone è un tipo che vive il calcio in una maniera passionale. La segata di Campi non prende un c***o. Mercoledì prossimo ovviamente vedremo Roma Real Madrid. Beh, la vedremo qui, casa mia come sempre, come una tradizione su questo divano. Ci sarà sicuramente anche Simone. Che è? Tribuna d'onore Roma Real Madrid per te. E da solo? Io lavoro. C'è con due miei colleghi, ti vengono a prendere loro. <ride> che gli dice a Mauro? Che dico... Sono la malaria. Auro. Ma mangi qua o... Fammi ritorno a casa e ti chiamo. Oh, non fai che non vieni però, eh? Ah, ti chiamo fra un po', ciao. Va bene. L'ho smarcato fino a questo momento, ho preso veramente un vile, cioè... Cioè, noi vediamo sempre le partite là. Sì. For the past nine years, Heineken has been the primary sponsor of the Champions League. This utilizes the behavioral learning techniques of stimulus generalization, specifically the association of Heineken with soccer. Therefore, the advertising campaign 
focuses on the psychographic segment of the soccer supporters. Supporting soccer is advantageous as the sport has international television broadcasts, allowing Heineken's geographic segmentation to include an international audience. The audience ideally belong to the demographic of adult males from average social economic backgrounds and based on the ages of the ad participants was particularly concerned with Gen X and Gen Y. As Heineken is an advocate for responsible consumption, their campaign's behavioural segmentation focused on users in moderation. The original advertisement addressed social drinkers whilst the Twitter campaign attended those who watched the games alone. Of these segments, Heineken dominantly targeted the behavioural and psychographic segments. Thus, adult male soccer enthusiasts were the target market. Heineken subsequently positioned itself to be seen as a fun and social beverage due to the humorous nature of the advertisements and the incorporation of social media platforms into advertising. The extent of their influence reaches over 120 markets to which the Champions League was televised. The secondary campaign, Share the Sofa, gave soccer viewers the ability to interact with ex-professional champions through live Twitter feeds throughout the games. It was conducted throughout the entire nine-month season. Hey, hey. Oh, hello! Glad you can make it. Come and join me on the sofa. Hashtag Share the Sofa. The first ever real-time football show designed for the second screen. Hosted by a different football legend every match and supported by a team of unique characters. We let any football fan on the planet feel what it's like to watch the Champions League with a champion. Fans could chat with their heroes about the game just as easily as they could with their ordinary friends. And as the player gave insights about the match, the characters on set brought them to life, Heineken style. Whether it was the tempo of the match, which team had the upper hand, or just something only a pro would notice. Over 90 minutes, hashtag share the sofa created hundreds of shareable reactions to the game and even more meaningful interactions with the fans. Each one conceived, created, and published in. This augmented Twitter campaign is the evolution of how Heineken promotes their product from their previous stance as an exclusive supplier at its global major sporting events. Additionally, Heineken has sponsored the last seven James Bond movies, the Astro Masters Golf Competition, the Rainforest World Music Festival, and the TGI Friday's Father's Day promotion. They are also promoted through their 19 million Facebook followers. Heineken Premium Beer uses the premium pricing strategy, which reflects the quality of the product. Consequentially, they are able to sell to both off-trade consumption, such as hypermarkets, and on-trade consumption, such as bars and top-end hotels. Thus, Heineken Premium can be bought in bottles, cans, kegs, tap sales, and stummies, with the company constantly having campaigns with different designs on the original bottle. The original green bottle, only sold in certain parts of Europe, is intended to maintain the beer temperature, while the classic red star and logo is well recognised worldwide. Packaging remains faithful to its core values of quality, enjoying life, respect for people and the planet, sustainable growth, and responsible use of the product. Alongside for the demand for sustainable products, responsible consumption is a socio-cultural aspect of Heineken's external environment. This, in turn, is affected by the varying ages for legal consumption of alcohol worldwide, and some markets are unavailable to Heineken in places where alcohol is illegal. However, free trade agreements allowed for maximum flexibility to reach the viable markets, leading to concerns about the impending Brexit campaign. Legally, Heineken also resides in an environment where they are required to produce a license to brew and to be certified with occupational health and safety. Technologically, Heineken maintains a solid reputation on social media, boosted by the Share the Sofa campaign, which allows them to conduct viral marketing. After the season finished, Heineken's post-campaign research produced the following statistics. 55 million second screens per game, 13.4 million live handle interactions every game, engagement with 94 countries, and 1.2 billion impressions throughout the season. Additionally, Heineken's brand association was boosted by 11%, 
purchase intent raised by 7%, and total global sales increased by 2%. Therefore, this discontinuous innovation was an undeniable success.